Described by film producer Michael Dealey as the very best eye in the business, director Ridley Scott was born on November 30, 1937 in South Shields, Tiny Ware in the United Kingdom. Scott wanted to join the Royal Army. His elder brother Frank had already joined the Merchant Navy, but his father encouraged him to develop his artistic talents instead. And so he went to West Hartlepool College of Art and then London's Royal College of Art, where he helped found the film department. He began working with producer David Putnam in the 1970s, developing ideas for future films. The success of Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, in 1977, inspired Scott's interest in making science fiction, and he accepted the offer to direct Dan O'Bannon's low-budget science fiction horror movie, Alien, in 1979, a critical and commercial success that firmly established his worldwide reputation as a movie director. Ridley Scott has won numerous awards, including a Golden Globe for Best Director, Motion Picture in 2001, for directing the movie Gladiator in 2000. One aspect of Scott's film style is the emphasis on the mise-en-scene rather than the characters. One example of the use of this is from the movie Legend. Here in this still, there is attention to detail in the background with the forest and then the sunshine coming in through the forest to draw the audience there instead of on the characters. Another aspect of Scott's film style is that being the actor's director that he is, Scott favors extensive use of the two camera V setup thus enabling his actors to play more fluidly off one another without being constantly interrupted to, by calls to cut. This diagram shows a resemblance of what Scott's camera setup would look like. As you can see, the cameras are set up in a way that makes a V to focus the attention in on the characters. Obviously, there are four cameras and not two, like in Scott's style. But in Scott's filmmaking, the two cameras were arranged in the same way. A third aspect of Scott's film style is that he uses sweeping landscapes or backdrops, sometimes with a close-up of a character's face in the foreground. This still from Gladiator shows a great example of the use of these backdrops. Here we see Maximus, who is played by Russell Crowe, in a close-up shot with the backdrop of the trees behind him. If it wasn't for Ridley Scott and what he accomplished as a director in his movies, there wouldn't be a generation of people that would want to be filmmakers and audiences wouldn't be engaged to watch more movies in the future.